Have you ever heard of the Great Barrier Reef Foundation? It was started by a few guys from the fossil fuel industry and suddenly they got given $444 million by the government. Now the guys from the Great Barrier Reef Foundation have just come up with an initiative. It's called, I Refuse to Single Use. It's exhorting that everybody goes plastic free in May. No plastics for four weeks in May. But it's an incredibly unoriginal idea because there's already a globally successful Australian campaign called Plastics Free July. So the Great Barrier Reef Foundation has grabbed somebody else's idea and jumped the gun on the competitor who actually came up with the idea by going two months earlier. But the issue is really, where are the bold initiatives with all this money? More broadly, the problem is that they control all this money from the government, controlled by fossil fuel people. They're all on the board, former chairman of ESSO, BHP, Origin Energy. This goes to the issue really of government tendering. It was a non-tendered contract. Four guys had meetings with the Prime Minister and the Treasurer, came away with their $444 million, untendered. And we know that tendering government money to mates, these are political donors, all these fossil fuel companies are huge political donors. This is not the right way to go. We should have an open tender process where everybody gets to put their hat in the ring. You know, not just mates of the government. Look what happened with Crown Casino. Look, what, look, look at the mess Crown Casino is in at the moment. The Barangaroo development was untended. The first we heard of it was a splash on the front page of, of the Daily Telegraph. It was just a complete PR job. And then the Herald and the, everyone backed in behind it and said how fantastic it was. They had the media under control. They had the government under control. Look at the mess that's in now. Untended contracts, Transurban picking up the entire toll road network of Australia. Untended. We pay to build it, it gets sold to them. There needs to be clear and open tender processes for all government assets. We did a run through the Austender database a couple of years ago and we found that there was $81 billion in amended contracts. Amended contracts meaning People that already had contracts, they just got given a few more billion on top, a few hundred million on top, just keep on going, not tendered. I mean, the reality is that the reef is bleaching because of climate change, not because of Coke bottles. Here's the PR. They got given so much money, almost half a billion dollars, that they, they really didn't know what to do with it. They did fly Carl Stefanovic uh, up to the reef and he, of course, extolled their virtues on the Nine morning TV show. Like this video if you'd like the government to stop swiping right on their tender process. Sorry guys, we, we didn't even get to finish editing the video and there's been some action on the GBRF front. The Great Barrier Reef Foundation has, has done a, a 180 degree volt farce and about turn. And they've dumped their I Refuse to Single Use campaign, which mimicked Plastics Free July. They've just abandoned it. So they've stopped taking donations for their plastics initiative now, but you can still donate to the foundation. They haven't stopped that old channel of funding. Maybe they can concoct another marketing idea like giving Carl Stefanovic, Channel 9 superstar Carl Stefanovic, another trip up to the reef undisclosed. Like this video if you'd like to see them pay for your next Great Barrier Reef holiday. Josh, since the economy is going so well, can you chuck us a few dollars on Patreon and maybe Buy the merch. <laughs>